Alrighty, welcome back. This is the Tony the hearty fellow. Uh, we're just about to leave Nombre de Dios. And we're looking for a... Oh, English Bark. There he is. He's right there. He left this morning, but he barely left. That is cool. Oops, oops, oops. We've got to avoid those rocks, because they will do bad, bad things to us. So we want to attack. Yes, indeed. A coastal bark. He's only got four guns. We've got eight. And he's got 25 men. I think we had something like... I can't really remember actually now. Um, I can't really remember how the combat in this works. So we're just going to... There we go. I'm going to fly over this guy and watch our m number of crew. Oh, it didn't increase. Okay. Wow, I'm not doing too well. Let's just go straight in. Oops, we took a shot. I didn't like that. Whoa! Somehow they... That's fantastic. Okay, so that ship battle, usually in a ship battle you'll uh, look to do some damage from range, then you'll look to change to grape shot to, uh, to attack their sails, and then, you, sorry, not grape shot, you'll use chain shot to damage their sails, and then you'll use grape shot to lower the number of their troops, and then when you get close enough, they will concede immediately, um, as they've done here. When they don't concede, uh, then you have to sword fight their captain, and uh, once you do that, then they'll succeed, and that's when the number of men that you have um, will dictate the morale advantage you have in your sword fighting. Uh, sorry, your sword fighting will dictate the amount of damage that your men do. Tricky to explain, but easy to uh, demonstrate. A healthy haul of gold and plunder are ours for the taking. Cool. So nine of the uh, nine of the twenty-seven lads want to join us. Welcome aboard, lads. And we'll try and take everything. Uh, so there's only a little bit of damage to that to that uh, bark. So it's probably worth us taking it. We'll be able to sell it at the next port. And we've got enough to upgrade our primary ship. So we've taken all and we've decided to keep the ship. Uh, 11 of our 59 men will need to crew the old, the new bark. But that's okay, we're only turning around and going down here anyway. Because we've um, attacked the Spanish enemies England, and we've taken one of their ships, we might get some love from the, from the governor. My dear Mr. Punto, please come in. As you know, we are, are at war with the perfidious English and the slimy French. I understand that recently you captured an, an English coastal park. Excellent, the king will be pleased. Soon you will be promoted to captain. Okay, so that, that wasn't enough to, uh, <coughs> to see us promoted, but that's cool. We can hopefully get some more men. Oh, oh this is cool. Okay, so this guy's changed. The, he was trying to sell us a hat before, but now there's a new one. He wants to sell us a pirate treasure map for 300 bucks. That sounds cool. Okay. Search into... I don't know what that means. But that's where the treasure is over there, where that red cross would be. So Inca... Cap, uh, Inca... Inca... Inca Temple... Blood Cape, that's water, that's Indian. No, that's pretty tricky to guess. But there's not too many places that are... Oh, no, that's right, there is. Okay, what we'll do, let's have a look. Thanks, mate, that's a interesting map, but not particularly helpful. The governor's daughter, though, she's a real beauty. No, I haven't met her. And... Oh, there we go, he's very quick. With his, he's got a lightning quick high chop dueling skill. Good to know, and he's over there somewhere. Okay, so if we look at our map, there's not too many places that that could be, relatively, because of the shape of the map. But it's very very long way to get to there, or to there where it more likely is. But it could also be there. It could also be. Yuck, if we're unlucky, it could be on that side. 
I've seen those before. Could be there. So there's quite a few places that we'll need to go. We might need to wait until we get a second part of the map. Uh, and that's everything we wanted to do in the tavern. Trade with the merchant. Where that's a fantastic price for luxuries, so let's sell those. And those. That's not great. Uh, we've got 12 guns, that's fine. How much money have we got? 733, that's good. Um, I don't normally like doing the trading, but that 6 sugar seems really cheap. And I'm not certain we couldn't sell it for a fortune somewhere else. So we might do that. But let's go see the shipwright first. Right, now, we've got two ships. We can sell one of them. That one's got 15 damage. We could repair it for... 75 upgrade I don't know why it's cheaper to upgrade that one than that one for the moment we'll only focus on upgrading our sloop, this is a great ship it's very fast, it um, carries lots of cannons relative to its maneuverability so um, I think it's worth doing and this one will repair this one yeah We'd need to get rid of 19 tons of cargo if we, if we were going to sell the ship for $300. We might just repair it in the meantime. I think when you repair, the cost goes straight on the sell price anyway. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we've just got a, a good ship to carry our... Um, to carry our... loot on. We're going to check the status. There's lots of things in here to have a look at. But in particular, the world map I wanted to have a look at. So we've, I've s m scrolled out as far as I can, and um, you can see slightly better in the map. I've got a feeling that, I guess it could be there. Let's have another look at our map. So the only thing I'm going off is that. That's the only sea that we can see, so that's really quite a guess on my part. Yeah, that's quite presumptuous of me. All of these other little uh, things don't actually show up until you're walking around on the on the zoomed in world map. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to have any joy, uh, any luck finding that. I don't think Panama is actually on that side. Wow. Okay, let's go over to Portobello. We're just around the corner, so we'll um, uh, merchants are reluctant. Okay, we don't know anything about that port. We know the prices at this port because we've been here, but we haven't been to Portobello yet. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do this just once. It's not something I often do, but let's take a chance that there's um, lots of that 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 six dollars for sugar is a good price. I definitely don't know that that's true, but we'll go have a look. Here's Portobello just over the way. Whoa, and they've got a big old ship, uh, a big old fort, I should say. Oh, there, yeah, they've got 6,600. Okay. Uh, let's go trade with the merchant. Oh, yikes. Okay. So we made some money. That's okay. One dollar. Food's a lot cheaper here. Uh, we could have sold out spice for more here. But I think food's cheap. We'll buy lots of food so I mean don't get grumpy. And we'll have a look. What does the ship right here do? Ah, he does chain shot, and we've already got chain shot on our main ship. Could we sell this here? No, we need 22 more space. Uh, let's visit the tavern, see if we can get some more men on our. Yep, perfect. So now we're going to have a good amount of men. At the mo in the last, uh, with the current setup, we're a little bit slim. Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, northwest of Maracaibo. Cool. That's just around the corner from us, if I recall. Let's see how close I was with my guesses. Sales on the. Charles, very good. And 
what do you have to say, my friend? You can upgrade to fine grain powder. Yep, we know about that one. We'll talk to the governor. See what he has to say. Still at war with the English and the French. And that was all. Alright, cool. So let's now look at the map. Where is Maracaibo? Oh, I thought it was up there. But no, it is back there. Cool, okay. So we're just, uh, we're not too far away. We'll go over here and find this treasure. And then we'll look to head over to Port Royal. And uh, get in some more trouble. Now the problem that we have is over here, the prevailing wind in this in the entire Caribbean is it, oh god do you call it an easterly? I think you call it an easterly if it comes from the east oh, who's that? no that's Spanish by looking at the flag you can see a yellow flag is going to be Spanish a white and red flag is going to be English a blue flag will be uh, French and a orange flag will be Dutch Cartagena mm. oh, we got, oh, there's some weather up there. Oh, cool. We're almost at Cartagena. Let's have another look at our map. Alright, so we've got to go quite a way yet. Oh, look, that's where Jack Rackham is up there. And I've got a feeling he'll try and fight us if, he, if we go past him. That will be a nice introduction to... Cartagena is a wealthy Spanish capital. So, well, when you uh, attack us... Oh, okay, in 7600, even more people. Um, when you attack a city, you sack it afterwards, and the more people that are in the city, and the wealthier it is, the more money you'll get from sacking it. So um, this would be a, an amazing place to sack, but you'd also end up fighting, um, I'm not certain, like uh, uh, several hundred soldiers, I believe it works out at. Somewhere like that, uh, somewhere around there. Anyways, we'll close this one up for the YouTube users, uh, YouTube viewers. Thanks for joining us. We'll um, join us in the next one. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you in the next one.